I want to talk to you about Thy Kingdom Come, which you know all about, but it is the most extraordinary story. We started last year with one world enthusiast working for Chris Russell, 24-7 uh, and some cathedrals. I mean, to say 24-7 and some cathedrals is already slightly startling, but everyone pitched in and it was the most extraordinary thing. A few months before it started, one of the 24-7 folks said to me, oh, I think it's going to be really good. I think we might get three to 5,000 people. And you know, nearly 100,000 took part. Well, this year, at the rate we're going at the moment, we're not going to be far off 100 million people taking part. Because you've got the World Methodist Conference, you've got large chunks of the Anglican Communion, it's an extraordinary thing that the Spirit is calling God's people into prayer for the evangelization, not just of this nation, which is where we started, but of the whole world. It's an incredible thing. And somehow the wind of the Spirit has got behind this. The key thing about um, Thy Kingdom Come is we don't say you've got to do it this way. We say, take part and do it in whatever way you like, but between Ascension and Pentecost, just pray for the work of the Spirit in leading people to meet with and to be transformed by Jesus Christ. So we say nations transformed by Jesus Christ, which is our dream, our prayer, our hope, and the calling and the will of God in Christ. This isn't a Church of England thing, thankfully, it's much, much bigger than that. I mean, we started it like that, and it was uh, Archbishop Sentamu with his passion for evangelism, and myself, who, who were part of that. But it's turned into something far beyond that, which is, as you know, as well as I do, is always a sign of the spirit at work among us. All you have to do is uh, to join in, is go to thykingdomcome.global, and register your church by clicking on Pledge to Pray. Actually, if you don't do that, but still pray, I suspect God will know. Get involved. Join in, in whatever way is right for you, for your church, um, sharing in this great call of God that people may find the light and joy and hope of Jesus Christ. That's what's going to change our world in an uncertain time. My prayer is that our prayers together will be something that says to the world that as Jesus prayed, we love one another, that as Jesus prayed also that we belong to one another so that the world might see that he came from the Father. Alleluia.